All right, well, if the hot weather has you in the mood for a cold beer, a local brewery can lay claim to serving one of the best in the world. That's right, Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska is in Katy at the No Label Brewing Company with the details. So have you taste tested anything without getting you in trouble? <laughs> not today, <laughs> not today. When I'm done, maybe, but not yet so far. So there's no exaggeration there. No Label Brewing Company opened its doors nearly 13 years ago. Over the last few years, though, new ownership, a new brewmaster, they've been very aggressively experimenting with new recipes, winning some awards along the way, including last month, last month rather, the biggest one so far. Coming from the tap, it looks like a lot of other beers, but the no label Cali Boy IPA has been named the second best of its kind in the world, winning the silver medal at the latest World Beer Cup Awards in Minneapolis after judges said it soared and was exceptional. Winning in the Imperial IPA category, which is one of the most competitive categories you, like, you can enter, um, it's pretty wild, it's pretty outstanding. To appreciate the significance, the World Beer Cup considered more than 10,000 beers from nearly 2,500 breweries in 57 countries. Meddling is rare. It is difficult and a big deal for those who win. It invigorated everyone like on the team. It, it's just like, it recharges the craft beer batteries, as it were. And uh, now we have another challenge called We Can't Make Enough of This Beer. It is historic Katie. It's Katie's historic brewery. Co-owner Tom Painter says brewery operations are humming at near capacity in its location among Katie's old towering rice dryers, churning out the newly popular Cali Boy and Houston-centric Gillies Blonde Ale, along with all the other no-label beers that get served across the state. With 70 other breweries in the area, there is little time to relax in the search for the next winner that might come pouring from the tap. If it can win over Katy, Texas, then it can win over the rest of Texas. And there you go. There's the line in the sand. In case you're wondering, the winning IPA comes from an Atlanta brewery, which is a bit of a drive, quite frankly, but why bother? Tom Painter says two other no-label beers were very close to meddling. Overall, Texas brewers brought home 14 of those World Cup medals, including two other Houston brewers that specialize in sour beer, if that's your thing. Either way, there's a lot of choice very nearby. Watching your money, I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.